This week we choose you, Pikachu, or do we? On Boss Battle. Hey. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 82, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Town, and joining us as usual, it's Sorg. Hey. Sorg, what you achieve? what did you achieve in gaming this I week? I achieved more threes on my phone. They actually had an update. There's a plus sign now. Ooh, if it's more much. than a three. So nobody else is going to know what I'm talking about except the people actually playing the game. Mm -mm, so, which is, um, which is none of us. <laughs> that and I've been playing actually, I don't know if I talked about it on the show, there's this really awesome uh, HTML5 Game Boy 1 emulator with a, there, there it is playing oh. Super Mario Land actually. Uh, I think it's just web game, I can't remember anything. Get, yeah, I don't have a name of it. it uh, we tweeted about it like last week or something. Uh, uh, get back to me on that one. So. Oh, and my wife just friend requested me on Game Center. Nice. Aww, that's just so nice. <laughs> all right, Riz, what what'd you what did you achieve this week? First of all, all all praise Lord Helix. <laughs> praise Lord Helix. Praise be, praise be be his name. Uh, apparently, I'm like one of the last people to know about this game. It's called. Plague Inc. I don't know if we talked about it or not here. Um, Chachi talked that about, about that a few months ago, I remember. I, right? I, know, yeah. I know, but I forgot about it until somebody at my job told me about it. And I cannot stop playing this game. I have not defeated the entire world yet that is coming. Lord, If Lord Helix helps me in my quest. So is this other it, than that? Is, hmm? is this it on the? Uh, you're, not, you're not on the video, but is this what? What is it? Is, is it an iOS it's, game or? It's an iOS it's, Android game. Okay. They got it oh right yeah here. yeah right there yeah okay I, I'm looking at the Steam version of it apparently here show it again I wasn't on your camera I'm sorry. All right hold on. Oh I already I already did it in West Africa. So as you can see, there are little bubbles here. Mm-hmm. And it spreads. It takes a while for it to, you know, develop into a giant ball of death, as I like to say. Um, but what it does is you win when everything here turns to red. Mm -hmm. Oop. Oop. And it just pretty much kills everybody in sight. Awesome. Yeah, what you do is you create a virus. Mm-hmm. Or you create some kind of bacteria. disease. An object is to continue making your disease stronger <clears throat> so yes. that uh, the population can't make a cure for it and to destroy all of life. Destroy all the things. So is yes. it 12 Monkeys the game? No. It, it, there's no monkeys. Reference at all. No monkeys. You um, and I do, I do see that Praise it's uh, it's 99 cents on the App Store, at least for iOS. I imagine it's about the same on the on the Play Store. Uh, and there's actually a version called Plague Inc. Evolved. It looks like they're 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 touting some early access and stuff for 14.99 mm -hmm. on Steam as well. If you're interested in that version, so um, cool. But yeah, uh, apparently I was late on that because I told Chachi about this amazing game, and he said he already had it months ago. <laughs> that happens. Yeah, it does. Dick. <laughs> hey. Awesome. Chachi, what did you achieve this week? Um, a, a few things. Uh, I found Crazy Taxi on Xbox three, on the 360, um, so that was uh, exciting. Um, I listened to Bobby, and I downloaded uh, Sid Meier's Civilization. Um, nice. If you haven't, do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's free. It is, Why not? Um, yeah, it, it's a free game first off, and it's a good game. PC? Um, no, Xbox. What's that? Really? Yeah, 360. Yeah. Um, but uh, and, and the thing about this game, and the reason why I asked is because a lot of people I follow weren't happy with this being the free game. And like one in particular said that uh, that's another point for a PlayStation. And I'm like, but they're Ow. giving away a $60 game, whether you like it or not. And then yeah. I played it, and I'm like, all right, so that guy doesn't know a good game from the hole in his ass. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just like, whatever. It's but yeah, I, I, I keep playing it. It's a different kind of game, right? I mean, it's not yeah. like it's not like we gave you Titanfall or Tomb Raider or something, you know? It, it's, right. It, it's a different game from what they normally give you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's, a, but it's, I, it's a strategy on, game. What's that? It's a strategy game. I don't normally like strategy games, but this one's a little bit... It's it's more fun. It's yeah. like a party strategy game, if that makes sense. <laughs> but uh, on top of that... Um, so it's Clue. I, uh, hmm. I, I broke 10,000 uh, gamer points. Wow. Nice. Uh, this week. So there's that milestone. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, on top of that, uh, Sorg, I don't know if you saw my message in the chat, but the Sorgatron Media uh, Justin TV page yeah. has broken 1.3 million views. That doesn't seem nice. right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We did it, everybody. That doesn't seem right now. because we were at so, like, I thought we were at like 700,000 like weeks ago. Well, wow. Okay, maybe we got featured on the on a replay or something. That's so awesome. there you go, one point three million. It probably only took us like seven years to get there, but um, hey, it's one million time. views. That's true. Keep clicking but, uh, on yeah, Mad so, Mike. What's that? Keep clicking on it, Mad Mike. <laughs> um. So uh, yeah, that's that's what I accomplished this week. Awesome. All right, and from the chat, Mad Mike uh, got a hundred percent achievements on Lego Marvel Superheroes and the Lego Movie Game. All right, and I achieved this week. I uh, started Kingdom Hearts again. Nice. So it, it, uh, I only played a little bit of it. Um, didn't have a lot of time this weekend, but I, I, I played it. I liked it. I like I the the intro was kind of weird because they kind of like technoed it up a bit, but I think it'll be fun. I'll stick with it. So. All right, we're going to move on to our next segment, which is Things Around the Net with Chachi. Uh, we need a new name for it. Yeah. Um, this this will be an award-winning uh, segment as soon as I get a new name for it. <laughs> um, so I, let's start with the runners-up. Um, this week I have uh, a story that shows a uh, video game, uh, specifically Pac-Man in this case, uh, burned into a screen. Uh, that looks really cool and could be art. Um, to the point where I'm, I, I might actually uh, try to find one. Um, according I to think Richard it, Ebert, I think it'd be cool to have. According to Ebert, video games are not art. But he's no longer with us, so they are. Yeah, well, that guy's in hell playing Pac-Man for eternity because oh. he wow. said that. Oh. Uh, um, and, and the second runner-up this week is a uh, cosplayer... Um, pulls the master store sword, and uh, someone gets stabbed. Oh no! Oh, um, it, it was a domestic dispute. Uh, of the course, guy, it, of course, it was. Yeah, the guy uh, had a had a had a master sword, used it to stab uh, another guy in his house. Um, did he? So that did he that shout? Happened. He at? What's that? I hope he didn't shout, like, twirl around. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> He I held down he B did. a little like too he long. Powered and up with the fire, like fire just shoots out of his thing. <laughs> <and just swings. laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> um, I, and, and next, uh, and the actual awesome things that I found on the internet this week. Um, so, in case you're you're, you're under a rock, uh, Twitch plays Pokemon. Finished the first game uh, Friday night. Mm. They beat the Elite Four, became Pokemon Master. Um, it took them 16 days, 7 hours, 45 minutes, and 30 seconds. Damn. That is actually faster than what it took me to beat Pokemon right. X. Yeah. In that time, <laughs> in that time, they had over a million people playing the game and 36 million seeing it. <laughs> wow. Um, so after, after they finished it, uh, they put up a, uh, a sign – or a graphic on the page with a countdown saying that the next installment would start in 24 hours. And so since then they've started uh, Pokemon crystal hmm. uh, to everyone who thought that this was just some kind of uh, joke. <laughs> the praise Helix thing is praise so big that it's now graffiti. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like people praise were tagging places 
with the Helix shell and Praise Helix under it. And there's a picture over uh, at insertcointobegin.com where you can see it uh, actually done. Praise uh, Helix. Next up, uh, so <laughs> European prisons may be extremely lax. Um, however, their, uh, their rating systems are not. <laughs> uh, to the point where European Stick of Truth players, the new South Park game that came out recently, uh, don't have access to seven uh, playable scenes in the game. Wow. Um, instead, what they do is they put up a, a picture um, of a statue face palming. Uh, Looks like Michael with a, David. The European Union flag. <laughs> And and this one it says you lose again Europe the scene when you're trying to disable the force field around Randy but instead accidentally force the probing machine next to him to probe his ass with violent force is not meant for your eyes Randy in obvious rectal pain urges you to proceed forward Wow um, it looks like a weeping angel kind of but it's it's yeah, I think it's the Michael it Ange- Michelangelo is David. Uh, uh, it, it, it turns out that any scenes that involve rape or anal probing uh, have been removed and replaced with an image and a description of the uh, the scene. Uh, and last but not least, uh, there's a comedian on YouTube named Brental Floss, and First he all, does this awesome series. Name. What's that? First of all, awesome name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and what he does is he takes what he imagines would be the lyrics for uh, lyricless video game theme songs and records him singing the lyrics to those songs. Uh, And it's everything from Super Mario Land to one that was uploaded recently, Metroid. And it's called Metroid Fight for Love. And it's a back-and-forth tale of Samus, uh, Messaging with the uh, scientist that she messages with, um, whose name I can't remember. Uh, but you can go over to insertcointobegin.com and see all of the stuff that I put in there this week. And there's a link for Brental Floss's uh, YouTube page, as well as the uh, Metroid Fight for Love video. Nice. So, and that's it. Awesome. Um, next, we're going to move on to our next segment, which is things you should be made aware of, which is our news. Um, and Riz, I think you have the first story on Nintendo um, and possibly ending hey. online for certain uh, hey, devices. Hey. It's, tell me if you hear this one before. Nintendo does something stupid. Uh, but yeah, uh, Nintendo is getting going away from their online services for many of the Wii, syst- Wii system games as well as the DS games. Uh, it's going to start on May 20th. And uh, it, it doesn't involve YouTubes or the actual store itself. Yeah, um, Netflix. But Net- you can still use Netflix, too. Yeah, you can still use Netflix, which is pretty much why Wii is only used now for adults. <laughs> um, but this is kind of a I, – I, I get it, but I don't get it. I, I, I don't get still- it because it's – taking away from playing a game that you like, even though there's not that many people on there, there's probably going to be somebody on uh, well, uh, Mario Kart for the Wii. So there's somebody going to, there's somebody always going to play with those games because that's the Wii system. Well, here's the problem with uh, Nintendo. Nintendo hasn't had a lot of internet experience. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas well, Microsoft, it was like two years ago, they finally... Uh, killed the servers for Halo 2. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it, well, well actually, afterwards. People yeah, actually were playing it to it, keep it alive. It, yeah. I don't know why um, like, Nintendo looked at Microsoft and went, we should do that, but only sooner. Yeah, and that's the thing. And, and, and so they're not seeing, because Nintendo didn't do a good job at, at making people want to play internet games there's not <laughs> that very many people anything sort i mean this you gotta anything. think for them to have the servers for them to run these servers for mm-hmm. us to still play mario kart costs them money that's why we play for x that's why we pay for xbox live mm-hmm. is so we can 
so they can keep those servers running to play whatever games, right? Uh, so in this case, one, they're not collecting the fee for that. Two, probably not that big a number is still playing it in comparison to how many consoles they sold. I mean, there's really only a handful of games this applies to. Mm -hmm. For how many years the Wii has been out? Um, I mean, you're going to see this end of life thing. That This is the thing, you know, it, you're not going to be able to pull out, well, in this case, Mario Kart for the Wii, um, but you're not going to be able to pull out probably Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 in like five years and expect to be able to have the same online experience you did before. Um, these mm -hmm. things are kind of stuck in time, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, and, and this is going to, you know, your long time playing. So I, I never picked up Mario Kart. So now I completely miss out on the on the, uh, yeah, that's the online only experience. Why, that's the only reason why I kept my Wii for so long mm -hmm. was because I wanted to play online and I wanted to play Mario Kart online with people across the country and across the world because they were still online when I came on mm -hmm. last year. Yeah. I it had a blast. So, so I the only thing I really got to play online with the Wii was Smash Brothers a little bit and uh, Doctor Mario, um, and it was Smash fun to Brothers. actually play Doctor Mario against somebody, you know. And I think that's in this list too. Smash Brothers is also on the list. Yes, yes, but which I, I is think it, which is bullshit as well. But I think it shows that Nintendo's ready to move on, you know, from the Wii <laughs> and the, the the DS, and just focus their entire thing on the Wii U for now mm -hmm. until the new console comes out. And my only real uh, problem with this, be. my only real problem with this, I, I, I just think where the position Nintendo is and with their old Wii versus the new Wii and everything, they're not going to have a five-year lifespan for the old Wii like we have with the PlayStations, right? Yeah. Uh, at, you know, after the new one comes out. They're just not ready for that. But they were selling a version of the Wii last year, at least. Like a new, smaller version of the mm -hmm. Wii. You know, so so there's people that just got on the Wii bandwagon and buying the older games, and now all that stuff as advertised is now end of life. So the uh, the new version of the Wii didn't have all that stuff though. It didn't. Mm -hmm. it, so no, it, it, it was all just uh, disc games, and that was it. Oh, okay. So it had no online capabilities at all. Uh, I, it might have been able to connect for updates, but that would be it. Interesting. Like like, okay. It was like the Nintendo Mini, or Wii Mini, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if I can look up the specs on that. Mini Wii. So. Um, right, we're going we're gonna to move on to our I next I am story. a child. Guys, did you know you can get two games that are coming to the Xbox 360 that are, were previously exclusive Xbox One games? What? Yeah, um, Peggle 2 has just announced that it's coming out for the 360 on May 7th. That's a big get. Um, yeah, and, it, and it's go, it's going to include a new mode with, uh, called Multiplayer Duel. Um, that's all we, re we really know, but I'm excited um, that PopCap's bringing it over to the Xbox 360. Um, the other one is uh, Blue Point Studios is working on uh, Titanfall for the 360. Already um, pre-ordered. <laughs> it's a different. It's a. It's not. It's not uh, the same studio that's doing the one for the Xbox One, mm -hmm. but they said that it's going to be just as good. Um, and they actually allowed more time so they can get as close to the Xbox One experience on the 360 as they possibly can. So I think that's good news. I, I'm excited for Titanfall. What do you guys think? For those who I can't was... like who, who can't get a uh, Xbox One yet, it's it still lets us play Titanfall. I like the idea, um, but always, like just like when you put Call of Duty on the Wii or the DS, what are you not getting? Especially since this yeah. was just announced. Um, why did and they you, decide to do also that? Getting, you're also getting a different studio, too. It's, yeah. it's the only bad part about it, I'm but not, I'm still excited. I'm not so iffy I'm about that. I, the game, though. But that, that, that other studio is a conversion company. It's like Gearbox used to take old Halo games and turn them into PC mm -hmm. versions of it. Um, that's how I played Halo on the PC, and it was it was by Gearbox. But they took the Bungie game, and it was the adaptation of that. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a little different if you're down-converting it for an Xbox 360 from a 1, but I don't know. Again, like, what are the limitations going to be? 
you know, is it just not going to look quite as well, uh, just like with the recent Call of Duty games, or is it going to be a little bit more? I, I don't know. I, I got to see the review and see what the differences are and if it's worth picking up. Because I'm interested in Titanfall in general. Mm -hmm. I have a press release from EA here, and it says, um, I'm just going to read a little, uh, little excerpt from it. In these uh, last few weeks before launch, Respawn is in the final stages of polishing the Xbox One and PC versions of the game. Bluepoint is doing the same with the Xbox 360 version. To give them the time they need to put the finishing touches on the current-gen version of the game, we are moving the Xbox 360 ship date to March 25th in North America and March 28th in Europe. The extra two weeks will ensure the full world of Xbox gamers ha has an awesome experience. All three platforms have amazing intensity and dynamic gameplay between Titans and Pilots, and we can't wait to see what everyone thinks when they start playing the full game next month. So I think it's I think it's in good hands and and uh, they said that um, Respawn handpicked this studio because they they've done good work in the past so I, I'm I'm confident in them. Good. All right. Uh, our next story is um, there's a a game coming to Steam. Uh, oh, it's it's in Steam's Greenlight program right now. Um, it's called Crawl. Hmm. And it's a dungeon crawler, but it's a multi. Uh, like a massive multiplayer online dungeon crawler. Um, the, the premise of the game sounds really fun. Um, you are the hero to start, and other people that are playing the game are the monsters and the dungeon itself setting traps to kill the hero. Whoever kills the hero then, or whoever kills the hero with a trap or as a monster, then becomes the hero, and the game starts over again. It's like tag. Yeah, so it, it, it sounds it, really I was gonna say, fun. It's like a giant game of duck, duck, goose. Yeah, and there's and there's a trailer on YouTube. Um, I know Sorg was playing the trailer in the background. Uh, it looks really fun. The trailer's really neat. It has an old school feel to it. Um, mm -hmm. Kotaku actually called it one of the best trailers of 2014 already. So I'm excited for this one. What do you guys think? Um, will, will you go to vote for this game on Steam? Yeah, this looks fun. To get it greenlit. Mm -hmm. This definitely looks fun. It, like This reminds me of... I haven't played it yet, but I've watched Let's Plays of a game from for Gary's Mod called uh, Murder. <laughs> and it pretty much is the that this exact same thing without the, you know, added, you're also the dungeon, or you're also the rooms. Mm -hmm. like it, it, there's one key person, and you have to find who this person is. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, in this one... It, in crawl, it it's pretty point on on who's the killer. But in in the game, you just go around trying to find this person, <laughs> and it it I enjoy it. I I want to I I'm I'm enjoying hearing about this game now, and I want to vote for it. Go do it now. And hmm? <laughs> go do it now. I I will. <laughs> It, it, it reminds me of, like, the old-school PC games. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very 8-bit and really awesome-looking. Um, and they have a narrator narrating in the trailer, and it sounds like Vincent Price, so it gives it that really creepy feel to it. So nice. It's really cool. All right, and our final story. Um, today, DC, uh, during one of their press events, uh, uh, revealed that a new Batman game is coming. Yes. Um, and and Rocksteady is back to the Batman franchise. Um, the game is called Batman Arkham Knight, and uh, the trailer is amazing. Um, the game is going to be – they said it's going to be bigger than Arkham City was. Um, Gotham City is open, like the entire Gotham City. It's not just a s small section of it. I got to say, though, I, I – like I said on here a few weeks ago, I actually played through like a good half of Arkham City, mm -hmm. um, and that already feels huge. Oh yeah, and this huge. is gonna be huge, <laughs> like huge, huge. <laughs> um, yeah, I I can't even imagine. It's gonna be like it, it's gotta have to be like Batman Grand Theft Auto at that point. But you know how it is. Like you got a bunch of buildings kind of run over, but there's always just points you know it's not like yeah. the entire mm -hmm. thing is explorable yeah. although and i i am amazed at how much in arkham city was um like these side missions mm -hmm. you know uh i was an asshole batman because i was just going through the <laughs> <laughs> this guy like i'm hearing a guy yelling for help and i'm like no i need to go no. i need to go find mr yes. freeze no no 
Batman's uh, too. Batman has his priorities. Batman okay. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I can't wait for this. I'm, I'm completely Sorg's, sold on the Sorg's idea. Batman, of Sorg's Batman was actually the Dick Knight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the dick knight rises now we've hit that spot guys what we, was we one of the it. what was one of the that main things that was up. missing from arkham city though oh i don't know I don't uh, we could have gone without the rosh al ghul i am yeah, currently stuck on the rosh al ghul dream sequence oh, um, yeah. we can do without no, I mean, that i mean one, one of batman's key things that was missing from the game his key Batmobile. toys. Yep. The Batmobile is going to be in this game. Oh, in. Now well, I'm if it's If it's an open world, then it has to be yeah. in the game. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 looks, it looks awesome. It looks like a combination of the Tumblr no. and, and like a, its own unique Batman vehicle. Here, That's here's awesome. my question. Hmm. Batwing. I, they didn't say anything yet, but I would imagine. I hope. It better be. Give me a Batboat. And, and I... I think they said, like, at the end of the trailer... Um, Bat shark repellent. The, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> like, he holds the bomb over top of his head and starts running down the street. Yep. That would be awesome to have, it, like, a 1966 Batman game. I need to watch that They're one again. I'm going to have, like, a, a DLC of that, too. Just have <laughs> so, so, Adam so, West so. do all the... Uh, all of the... Like, the <laughs> things that Batman does and just have him talk. Well, well speaking of DLC, um, I guess at the end of the trailer they, they announced that if you pre-order the game you get to play as Harley Quinn. Hmm. Nice. So I don't know if, I don't know if it's the like a different like how they did the map things. Mm -hmm. No. Is, I, I hope it's not but I, I hope I hope you can actually play a good chunk of it as Harley. Now is this going with the Arkham City Gotham? Yeah, it the is Arkham it City storyline. I, I heard. I heard it's the last one in the Arkham City franchise. Okay. Because uh, this is the last game. You guys, know, you guys know what happened at the end. No spoilers. And don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm don't not tell telling me. you. Don't tell me. But when when you do, you'll be excited to know. You'll be excited and hoping that this person is in this game. Oh no! Oh no! That is all. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. That's going to bring us to our final battle question, which has nothing to do with the previous things we were talking about other than Pokemon. Yes, it does. What is the best starter in Pokemon to use? I'm out. Tag choices? me out. I, I don't even I've, – I've never even played. Come on, Sword. Never even played, man. What? I've never even played. Seriously. I've never, I, I booted up Pokemon a couple weeks ago on an emulator just to see what the hell it was about, and I got bored real quick. It's a fun RPG. I know. I don't play RPGs. What? Unless it's Shenmue and wow. Kingdom Hearts. Wow. Sword doesn't play Sword. RPGs. I don't. Wow. Get in the corner. I got a copy of Final Fantasy VII I barely cracked open. No, it's not Pokemon. It's not Pokemon. That's, no. <laughs> Chocobos are not Pokemon. My brand of Pokemon is the one where you throw apples at Pikachu until he gets unconscious. Well, what was your favorite you Pokemon Snap character? The apples I threw at, at Pikachu. Snorlax. <laughs> that's, that's and awesome. Snorlax in the weird uh, position Dr. O or Dr. Uh, Oak is in okay. when he's looking into the picture and you see only one of his hands. <laughs> All right, Chachi, what's your favorite starter Pokemon? Uh, Charmander. Okay. Uh, it, it makes for a harder game, and uh, for the most part, it's it's fun that way. Um, I, I do have a pet peeve that I was bitching at Riz the other day about. <laughs> he was. Um, in the game, for every gym badge you have, if you're unaware, uh, it allows you to control higher level Pokemon. It um. If you don't have the badge, uh, the Pokemon will blatantly disobey you, mm -hmm. and uh, it like it happens at the worst moments. Um, like when I started bitching to Riz, I was in a, a gym battle trying to get the badge that I needed to control po uh, Charmander, and I was using Ember, and he's just like, "Nah, dude, <laughs> I don't want to do that." He was just like, uh, "Let's do Growl instead," which. <laughs> it, it affects uh, like stats, but it doesn't do any damage. So yeah. if was, he kept doing that, I would be in the battle forever. 
I always get rid of those moves. <laughs> well, at, at the beginning, it, it, you only well, you have, have the two have moves. The so <laughs> yeah, you have Ember and you have Growl. And I'm just like, oh, this is horrible. So bad. And then, you know, he doesn't listen. <laughs> nope. Riz, what's your favorite? Team Squirrel, bitch. Final <laughs> spike. Uh, but yeah, just because he turns into somebody who has gigantic water cannons on his back, that is all. <laughs> he becomes Blastoise. I know. So That's why he's right. awesome. And I'm going to go with mine. Mine also is a water Pokemon, but it's a newer water Pokemon. Um, I actually like Froakie because he got me through Pokemon X pretty fast. Um, and, and besides, he, he, he evolves from a frog like Benjamin Franklin to a, um awesome kick-ass ninja frog. All right. Um, I'm just going to stop it right there. And his tongue is a scarf. I'm just going to stop it right there. Yes. <laughs> frog like Benjamin Franklin? Yes. <laughs> show title. Frog like Benjamin Franklin <laughs> is our title. <laughs> frog like Benjamin Franklin. But he looks like Benjamin Franklin, doesn't he? He does. Have you ever seen? Oh, he you does. He looks like Benjamin Franklin. He does. So and then when he, I don't know. When he, it, the the first gym is usually strong against fire type. Like the first couple gyms are usually strong against fire types, and that's why I usually go with it. Um, because it, it, I, I know how I am with RPGs sometimes, and it's just like, oh, let's hurry up and beat this game so we can move on. And and then I end up. Uh, not having a strong enough Pokemon, and then I have to level for a while, and I'm just like, oh, that's why. So if I pick the fire Pokemon, then I know that I'll be taking my time. Cool. All right, um, that is going to do it for us this week, everybody. Um, you can join us on, or you can follow us on Twitter on at Insert Point TV. Uh, you can join us live every. Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, you can visit our website, and new articles going up daily on insertcointobegin.com. Um, Chachi, you want to pl chug ch or plug Chachi Plays real quick? Yes, uh, chachiplays.com. Information will be up tomorrow. Nice. So check that out and donate. Uh, the, 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 the donut button is up now. Yes, the donut so, button is up. All right, that's going to do it for us. Game over, everybody.